What is up everybody? It is Chris here with DCW. Today, I'm gonna run you through some tips and tricks on how to get vlogging like your favorite YouTubers. Let's do this. Okay, before we get started, we're gonna need the right gear. I'm talking microphones, tripods, recorders of course, and last but not least, the RX100 Mark VI. A camera like the Sony RX100 Mark VI is super useful because it's small enough to take anywhere, it has a flip out screen so I can take my framing, and it's got a massive zoom. I mean, check this out. Not bad for a camera that fits in your pocket, right? But it's not just the looks of your vlog that's important. It's also about the sound quality. Let's go somewhere a bit quieter. When recording audio, using an external mic makes a huge difference. I'm using a Rode lapel mic with a dead kitten. <coughs> this little guy helps reduce wind noise, and I'm like 85% sure it's not made of cats. Run the cable from the lapel mic into this Zoom H1 recorder. And if you're wondering why I do this, it's because this is what I sound like using the in-camera mic. And this is what I sound like using the lapel mic. Another thing you can add to your video is B-roll. B-roll is a fancy term for extra shots that helps set the mood of the video. Luckily, the RX100 Sticks shoots at a thousand frames per second. So getting some cool looking slow-mo isn't hard. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna cover is how to move between different scenes and transitions in your video. I've used a few already, like covering the lens, doing a whip pan where you turn the camera really quickly like this. So the last transition is similar, but you keep the camera pointing at yourself and you spin like this. It might take a couple of tries to get the cuts to line up properly, but just keep trying and you'll get it eventually. So hopefully you've been able to learn something from this video about how to shoot better vlogs. My name is Chris Field, and for now, I'll see you next time. See ya.